Now we're back on the lathe again. I had to pull out a chuck, I put it back in, I'm on my first pass. We chucked up pretty nice for sure, so let's see if it cuts through. I think it's got a little heavy on this side for some reason, but I'm not sure yet. Let's start carrying here in a minute. Alright. Let's see what we got here. First pass. So I took all this apart here, trying to see if the chuck would come apart so I could clean it, but it doesn't come apart, so I'm not sure how it works, but I readjusted it back to square. I used it for another job, I had to make some spacers, and put this bar back in it. It looks like it came in pretty close to the same number. And let's see how, how good of a job we got. So that is basically nine. And we're tapered like crazy, wonderful. So there's uh, seven and a half, that's terrible. That's why I was cutting more on this end. Seven and a half. It's coming back up. Seven and three quarter down here. And eight and a quarter there before it hits the bad spot. So I'm going to do another cut just to see if it does the same thing again. It gets low right through here, it gets low. Low, 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 low. Now here it gets high again. So it's really low from here to here. That is not what I wanted to see. <clears throat> so I recentered this all up and but I don't know why that's I didn't change anything that makes that difference. So who knows? Alright, I'm gonna cut it again and we'll see what it does. Alright, I'm almost done again. About a four to five dollar cut. Starts chattering, it doesn't hard to stop. Okay. I definitely cut quite a bit more here when I came back to do the cut. I got real light through here and I started cutting heavy again out there, so maybe we <clears throat> got a halfway decent. Maybe we'll find out. Proof proof is in the pudding here, as you say. Okay, we went from nine to six, so we cut three down right there. That's five, four and a half, one quarter, four and a half, five, six way down here. I don't understand why it's tapering like this because it wasn't doing it before, but <clears throat> yeah, can't seem to get a consistent number on anything. Wonderful. Very, very disappointing. Why is it tapering right there like that? I don't know. Before I was going all like this much within two tenths. Now I'm the first inch it drops a thou. There's a thou and a quarter right there. I moved an inch, inch and a quarter. And it drops another quarter of a thou there. Up a thou there, and there it's stable, and it starts going back up there. Yeah, wonderful. Don't know. <clears throat> Seems repeating the dip in the thing. I wonder if the lathe is twisted differently now, or it's been sitting for another couple more days, so I keep letting it sit for a while and trying to get things. Other things done. Let's see if the lathe moved in. All this stuff got put away, so thought I was done with it. Doesn't matter what I think. It's what the lathe wants to do is what you do. And it definitely moved a little bit.
Yep. So it definitely moved in this corner. Now it's back to center. I must have a little chip under it. Yep. Back centered again. Alright, so that looks okay. It's been a little chip in there somewhere. I don't know. It is what it is. Frustrating. Very frustrating. Keep doing things and works and they don't work and you don't make any changes. Um, one thing I did, I took the chuck, I attempted to take the chuck apart, couldn't take it apart, put it back together again. That's all I've done. It should have recut true. It actually chucked up pretty close, I was shocked. It, was, it wasn't bouncing around at all, hardly at all, so. Recentered itself nicely, but now it's just not cutting correctly. And that's cutting in the back direction, which was the good way before. So I'm going to try cutting forward this time instead of backwards. And we'll see if we can make it cut better in that way. We'll give it another fourth hour or so. And we'll see what happens. I know it's going to chatter like crazy. And it starts. Alright, uh, well, we'll see what this looks like after this one's done. Before I cut that, I go in the back of the controller, so maybe this time wants to go the other way. I don't know. We're only cutting the room, so I get part of the cut. So, we'll be back. <laughs> 